Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of Subtech, and I was just testing out the interdimensional transportation of um, the aerial interface, and it works and it doesn't. So I set it up with some filters so it doesn't take absolutely everything, but for whatever reason, it starts on this left side, works its way over, and the first item it hits that it can't take, it stops and just does nothing. It's kind of annoying. Um, if you have an unfiltered hopper or something, it takes absolutely everything really quickly. But, I don't know. Oh wow, something's finally spawned. I don't know what it is, but I was checking my mob farm out, and nothing but the gas seemed to spawn really. I mean, the spawn rates are horrible. I don't understand what's wrong. Um, but yeah, I was just checking that out. So now I can transfer items across the dimensions in here. I will warn you, um... The first time I put an unfiltered hopper as opposed to those extraction tubes, it crashed my game. Um, I had this go all the way down there. I started to uh, build up a big wall, like I was going to build a very room of storage drawers, and it crashed, and I had to go back to a backup, which luckily I only lost a couple minutes. But um, yeah, so that's the thing. So I put in this omnidirectional hopper with built-in filter system. Uh, if you sec, leave one item per slot for a filter. Uh, the upgrade is how the speed is nice because it starts at like 2.5 items. And this is up to 10. So it goes through a whole stack faster. But unfortunately, like I said, um, it won't go through any items once it hits something it can't do. So that's an issue. And if you un don't filter it, it just takes absolutely everything, like my sword and everything. Like, so if I put this down there, it instantly stops. So it goes like left to right here, and then left to right up here, I guess. I don't know. So I thought I could put a bunch of these hoppers on here, filtering out things I didn't want to have in my inventory, or things I get across commonly. But, you know, you're limited into, um, like, four sides at most. Because you have to have power and pneumatic pressure feed into this and then all those hoppers can go out so you can have like 20 odd items filtered but you still would be stopped if it ever hit something it couldn't do right yeah so but this is nice it does work it does go into my little storage thing and it will go through this whole thing if, if there's nothing else, and I think it starts up at the top left. I could use more speed upgrades, but most of the time I won't have stacks and stacks of items. It is nice for transferring large amounts of items from the other dimension, but as you can see, it is coming in right here. You know, it is going into my storage section. Oh, this one's full. So I was avoiding it. And most of these do have max upgrades that I have available, and then avoid just so when it hits that. I didn't quite get all of them done that way, but I was working on it. Um, I think I have a... Yeah, I have more over here. It's just, I built these all the way down and then had to back up, so I just haven't felt motivated, especially since this doesn't seem to be working very well. Um, there is one upgrade that might help make it useful, dispenser upgrade. Uh, it's an auto feeder for food items. Um, so you could put it in hopper items into your inventory with that, and it would just restock your food as opposed to just dumping everything. So that's sort of nice. But overall, and I would need another. Um, the other thing I think is cool is you could hopper items in and then hopper items out. If you had two of them, maybe. If you can have two, I don't know if you can have two. So you could have one here and one in another dimension. It's sort of acting like an ender chest that you don't have access to in this game. Uh, well, not specific ender chest. It would have items come and flowing in and out of your inventory all the time, but, you know, whatever. Oh, I don't need that right now. Um, Okay, so controller slave, go back over here. Okay. But yeah, this is working. It's just not working the way I wanted. Um 
The only other way I've seen to make it not work is if you lock all of these, it won't take items that, well, they'll take a bunch of items, they'll get stuck in the hoppers, and then that's it. So, yeah, it's kind of a ridiculous. I don't understand how this is supposed to be a good thing. The only thing I can think of is an Emmy interface that has some built in filters. Um, import bus or export bus, whatever, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's all I can think of. But we're going to start making these cores because, well, not the, actually, we're going to work on the advanced crafting. Um, I wanted to do that in an episode or so ago, but this, this was a disappointment. It doesn't take any real resources. It's just power. Oh, that reminds me. I did have some fun. Um, couple things. Uh, first thing over here, I was experimenting with thermo electric generators I think it is the ones that go based on heat I don't know why I keep getting so many endermen despite having stuff everywhere oh, I have a pig that wants to die um you know let's help him along wow he can stand on it and not die that's impressive um but yeah I have this block of compressed iron heated and this one turned to stone eventually, but it was liquid starlight and it was cooling. And it didn't work um, at all. This electric generator did not work. I also tried two vortex tubes side by side, one cold side and one hot side, and it didn't work. So it's only liquids that seem to run that. I, I just thought it'd be cool because these could get up to like 4,000 degrees or something. And I thought it'd be really effective, but no, it doesn't work. But it's kind of cool that it's actually raining right now because I built a lightning tower. It's by no means a really, well, I actually can get up here without shooting shock. Um, great way of power. It does store a lot, though. Oh, so there's a bunch in there. I thought my cave lighters would have stopped that by now. Huh. But yes... Wow, there's a Enderman on top of that. But they haven't gotten... Oh, yeah, this one did. Okay. So it still holds 16 million, if I'm counting those zeros right. And it has four sides for outputs, but I'm only using two. Those guys are such a wuss now. Um, you know, I just have it come out. I had it originally going straight into my... Uh, capacitors. And it would basically make it so that it only ran at night, really. But for the most part, I have two up there. And they're, they don't share the same lightning bolt, unfortunately. But they will go. And I get maybe one lightning strike per thunder or rainstorm. But they last a day or two. And I get, like, a rainstorm every two or three days in this uh, meadow slash mendelin biome. It just seems to rain a lot in this particular environment. So... I'm getting power all the time, and I basically never run out anymore, because those things last for several days, ticking down as they do. And plus, I don't really need much, because I don't run my excavator or anything, because, you know, it's a thing. Um, so, advanced crafting. Oops. I should have the stuff for most of this, hopefully. I didn't count them or anything. Um... Basic crafting table. You need to work your way up. I think right, you need to make two of these. So we need basic components, basic catalyst, and lots of basic components. Okay. Ah, so stage two. Wow, uh, that's kind of neat that I skipped some of this by not doing it. Um, stardust. So stage three is luminescence, which is still a stardust, <clears throat> but you get two of them. Which is nice. Okay. And I've made a lot of that because I made the cave lighters and all that already, so. Ah, iron rods. I would have thought I made those. Don't want that to be lit up. Do I have some lying around over here? I thought I had everything ready. I got a black rods and black plates and all these other stuff. Steel rods. 
Wow, that's unfortunate. Luckily, this does work pretty fast. I love this thing, by the way. It was kind of a pain to set up, but I'm always surprised when I watch like some people's Let's Plays whenever I have a problem. Like, I've had to watch Chosen Architects like twice, and he doesn't seem to have a running machine press. He still pours all these out of his smelter. I just think it's much easier to have a bunch of ingots lying around and then make your stuff that way. I mean, this thing isn't super fast. I, mean, I don't think there's such a thing as a speed upgrade, but it's still fast enough. And it converts, you know, these little things all the time into... Oh, I already took them all, all the stuff into... Uh, the nuggets into bars and stuff. Yeah, one more. Okay, there we go. Unfortunately, like I said, my moth farm's just not been performing, and I don't know why. The only thing I can think of... Oh, my... I think stopped again. Um, I don't get it. It stops. I look at it, and then I can work. I think it does regenerate slowly over time, but it's very slow. Okay, so yeah, my mop arm's just not working, and I don't get it because my cave lighters are going like crazy. They're lighting basically everything up. The only thing I can think of is maybe these glowing balls cost count as entities or mobs and it won't spawn anymore. Okay, so basic components. We need at least like eight. Ooh, we only have three more luminescence. Maybe, I don't know. I have one of those. Huh. I thought I had way more than that. I thought I had like 25 or so in here. Oh, I think it just takes some more of this. Okay, whatever. Hopefully we have enough. So basic components, go. Right? Yes. Basic catalyst. Wow, it takes four of those. That's not good. This takes quite a bit of resources. Takes. I need two. I need two crafting tables. All right. Can I? Now I need basic components again. And we only got three. Wow. And here that was all prepared. Okay. So basic components. We need luminescence. Oops. Well, we'll take that for now. Wow. This is a real resource hog. That's why I kept skipping it. I just looked at the crafting rabbit hole and thought, no, thank you. Wow. Well, we're really pumping out the iron rods now. Probably never need them again, but whatever. Okay, so... Actually, don't have freaking um, crafting tables oops that in there there we go because I might need a lot more of these yeah because I need two of these oh, okay now I know I have iron blocks that is very weird. Did I use them all in here? Yeah, I did. Ran out of room because of the slag, though. Oh, here it is. Something sus again. Yeah, like I said, tons of endermen for some reason. Okay, we're almost there. Um. One. Oh, man, these things are so annoying. And of course, we only have two. I did not count these things properly. Oh, it takes glowstone dust. I thought it took something else. I know illumination powder was 
something like that. I think that's what I was thinking of when I made a bunch of it. What the heck? Hemp seeds? I don't need hemp seeds. There we go. I don't think I'll ever need hemp again. I grew so much, made a bunch of hemp fibers, and call it good. Ah, wow, I went through all my black iron slates. What the? Oh, because I made one. That was all back in aged one or two. Whatever. So, black iron slates. I do believe... I don't know if I have any in here. I don't remember it. No, but I do have black iron ingots somewhere. If not, I have black nether crystals, which luckily come in from those assorted quartz things. Um, wow. Here we go, black iron ingots. So I think it just goes to the sheet press, right? Wow, I'm gonna need a lot of these things. This is why I really did not do this earlier. I didn't want to pound these all out on stone anvils for sure. Um. Where's the plate press? There we go. And here I thought I was all good. I got like 25 of these ready. But dang, I already went through 25 and I'm on this tier 2. I'm still on tier 1. Because I need two of these for tier 2. And I think I need two tier 2 for tier 3, right? Yeah, tier 2 needs two tier 1s. Tier 3 only needs one. Okay, that's good. But two blocks of manulin, which I don't have yet, I don't think. So we're probably going to be stuck at tier 3. And then there's tier 4, I guess. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe it just gets bigger and bigger. So we'll take these for now. And I'm actually curious. I'm going to open this advanced crafter and see what it looks like. Oh, I broke my squeezer. I squeezed it. I don't know what the point of this is. I mean, it took all that and it just looks so normal. Does it? Oh, you needed to make the journey map token. I never did find the ring of ascent, let alone waste it on this. Or the lamp of cinders. I think seems to be kind of pointless to be honest. Um. So one more of these. Basic catalyst. Oh come on. And we're out of luminescence again, right? No, I just didn't shift click it. Okay. Okay, we sh we should almost be done with this, right? We got two of those. Now we just need blocks of gold which we hopefully have we do but we need advanced components which are black iron slates and golden rods and more luminescence so we have golden rods in there which I don't know if we have enough because it takes two for everything so we need three more of these Plus, we're probably going to need four for a freaking component, I bet. Yep. We got that. But now we need more of these, right? Yep. So, now we're short on luminescence again. This is kind of ridiculous. Ooh, don't tell me that was the last of it. I don't know why I didn't work with shift click before. Going through a ton of this stuff. 
Okay, so why isn't this fitting in? Pick out the sticks. Okay, so we need another black iron slate and three of these things. Which we need black iron slates. Wow, this is a resource hog. I thought making a half a stack would be enough, but obviously not. I just got shocked or something. This is crafting. This is why I skipped it for so long. Luckily, my capacity to craft is much easier. Okay, so. Like, this whole shift clicking from my box, my big box, is nice. Okay. We made it. And dear God, was that hard. Crafting gold. Now let's see what this looks like. Okay, that's bigger. Can we show recipes? So we can make our airship core, which would be helping a lot in exploration of the nether and or the end because they're both floating islands of nothingness half the time. Airship engines, the balloon, the machine case is the main reason why I started building all this. Um, oh yeah, I can't remember if I told you guys, but I think I told you when I was somewhere else, but this creation station is worthless. Like, this is the recipe for the end crystals and it doesn't work. Um, and then, oops. This does work, the Eye of Ender one, but Oops. the bucket and the asphalt doesn't work. So, so many recipes just don't work in here, and it's kind of annoying. Like, what's the point of this creation station if you never know if the recipe is going to work or not? Like, finding recipes I'd actually want to save and store that work are ridiculous. Like, it doesn't make french fries, it doesn't make fish and chips. It's kind of ridiculous. So let's see, this tier 3 crafting table takes two blocks of manulin and one ender biolite, but each one of these components takes manulin ingots, which is going to be a pain, and more of all of our friendly luminescence and stuff. So this is not going to happen anytime soon, because I have not found a manulin, manulin source core sample or anything like that for sure, if it even exists. But we can use this. Um, can it be connected to a chest? I don't think so. Right? No. So you have to hold everything, which is ridiculous. Um, this I want in there. Yeah, screw the hemp. We shall never need hemp again. I just fully automated, well not fully automated, but put a million of um, hemp through my grinder thing over there and now I never need it. It's funny. So yes. We need, oh we need recipes, not, I mean uses. Walk. Iron flame, more iron slates, and gets glass. So we can actually do that here. So this makes one of those. We're hoping for the mob duplicator, by the way. This is what I'm going for. Um, Uses. I don't know what these do. They look, might look cool, but we're not worried about it yet. Automation interface. That sounds interesting. I'm tempted. Oh, I don't have the nose. Yeah. 
So surface quartz, stabilized metal, circuit board, plastic, and compressed iron plates. I think I have everything. Um, can't remember what it all was. Plastic. Oops. Thought I saw it. These are different machine casings, right? Yeah, those are the ones that make the inscriber stuff. Oh, I thought I saw it. Yeah, when you actually have to look through this, take it out, it's not as useful. Okay, so what are we making? Machine case. We need crystals, if I remember right. Stabilized metal, surface coarse crystals. Ooh, cobalt plate. We don't have that. Okay, so we can't make this. Not yet, anyway. But yeah, guys, I guess this will be an episode. Oops. I'm really disappointed in those, uh, <clears throat> this table. It took so much to make it, and there's not really a lot you can do with it, and it doesn't even connect to anything, so it's like, I mean, maybe if I had an ME interface or whatever, but interface bus. This was a disappointment. This whole advancements are getting disappointing. But yeah, we did still not finish the manual because I haven't got more. But we're almost at the elite crafting table and we still can't really use much with it. And it just took like, I mean, it took like a stack or more of iron plates, black iron plates, Bunches of stardust and luminescence. It's kind of crazy. And stardust isn't easy. Um, you get one if you hit a surface sample for crystals or something. I can't remember what it is. But for the most part, you got to get the star metal ore, which I still have not really done improvements on. Ah. So I don't have starlight infusers. I need to make one of those because that would be much easier than what I was doing, um, which was, I think making this one. No, making the star metal ore out of iron ore. Yeah. No, I don't even have the transmitter. I had to do this one, the iron cluster, which was a pain. I never really expanded on my star metal, starlight stuff because I just thought it was annoying, but yeah. It's coming back to bite me. But catch you guys later. Bye.